Yeah, and obviously Kane Rose not doing the whole championship, but in a 996 as well. So they're holding their own against these cars. Now, I've got a bit of loose bodywork here. Oh, oh, Rose! Oh, big crash! That is a big hit by Kane. Wow. That is huge. The fastest part of the circuit. The cars will be coming over the crest here now. Hopefully the flags will be out. That is a big hit, Richard. That has completely removed the left front corner of the number 38 Melbourne's cheapest cars, Porsche. He's moving around inside, so he's okay. That's a big crash. Now, 12 months ago in qualifying, Matt Kingsley had a similar incident there and also collected that arm coat. Unfortunately, there's a major arterial road, Dandenong Road, just the other side of it, so there's not much more runoff they can put in. Here it is on board. Let's have a listen and a look. Oh, just running wide after going over that. Oh, wow. Curb and then into the grass. There's no chance from there. And that shows the violence of the impact that it shook our camera loose of the mount. Here's another look just behind. We only caught the end of it. Oh. Great camera work nonetheless as the 996 spins to a halt. And for Kane to be conscious and alert and moving around after a massive impact straight away shows how strong these cars. Even the 996 model, the older model car, shows how strong they are. Here it is from Ivan Klaassen. Oh, look at that. Is that just... Once on the grass, it pitched him to the right, and he had no chance from there. But like you said, Richard, we never like to see the Porsches torn up like this. But with the roll cage, which you can see on that onboard shot, the drivers are safe inside. And there's Kane, customary and mandatory that you need to go to the medical centre to get checked over. But he's OK. He's out of the car. And uh, they've declared the race, so they've called it under the safety car. 